Welcome to Infinite Air. Carving. Use the left stick to carve. Make sure you use a smooth motion from left to right or right to left. Make sure not to press up or down or you're going to get all buttered. Great job, we're on our way. Clean carving helps you maintain your speed on the big old mountains. Speed checking will help you stay in control while riding down the steep slopes. To speed check, you need to make a quarter turn on the left stick from left to down or right to down. For this tutorial, just keep your speed very slow all the way down the hill. Great job. Keep those movements smooth and use speed checks to stay in control while heading into features and to stay in control while on the steep parts of the mountain. Being able to stop just might save your life. It can also give you an opportunity to scan your surroundings. Much like a speed check, make a quarter turn to start a heel slide or a toe slide. Keep digging in until you stop. To get going again, press up on the left stick. you're definitely getting a handle on the fundamentals. Reverts are switching stance from your natural riding stance to what's called switch stance. You can do this from rolling the left stick from left to right or right to left. Nice. Reverts help you set up for switch tricks, which can earn you higher points. An ollie is a way to get air on a flat surface by cracking down on the tail of your snowboard. A nollie is simply doing the same, but off the nose of your snowboard. To ollie, flick down and then up on the right stick. To nollie, flick up and then down on the right stick. Great job! All these are the foundation of many tricks. You can use them to get onto rails, pop off jumps, or just hop over obstacles. You can preload torque by holding one of the triggers. Hold the right trigger to spin right, left trigger to spin left. If you hold both triggers, you will pop straight off of a feature.
the taste of success. It's so good. The longer you preload your torque, the more you'll get when you release. But if you preload too long, the torque will decay. If you're looking to impress somebody, you gotta grab your snowboard in the air. Use the right trigger to grab with your right hand and the left trigger to grab with your left hand. Then use the right stick to direct where on the snowboard you want to grab. If you hold both triggers, you'll grab the board with both hands. And if you're feeling fancy, switch up the order that you direct the stick and pull the triggers to get a whole new set of grabs. That was grab-tastic. Go ahead and explore the different combinations to discover new grabs. If you really want to max out your style points, you need to tweak out your grabs. Once you've engaged a grab, we give you full board and body control to tweak out your grab the way you like it. Use the right stick to tweak out your board left, right, up, or down. Use one or both of the triggers to compress your body in and out to get a feel for the range of motion available during a grab. For this tutorial, don't worry about landing the trick. Just explore the full range of motion. You nailed it. You can see there's a huge range of expression available to you. Every grab has a sweet spot where you'll get maximum style points. So experiment with each grab to hone in where that is. A nose press is when you lift the tail of your board off the snow. A tail press is when you lift the nose of your board off the snow. Press up on the left stick for a nose press or down on the left stick for a tail press. My friend are a natural. Presses can help you stay balanced on rails or do butters on the ground. A shifty is when you counter rotate your board and lower body while in the air. You can use this to get under rails or get some additional rotation on some tough landings. Simply push left or right on the right stick when in the air. Make sure you're not holding a trigger or you'll engage a grab. Nicely done! Shifties are a valuable tool when it comes to landing clean or getting onto features. You can even use the same board control when you're in a grab to really tweak it out, getting them style points. Let's use what you've learned so far to help you get onto rails and learn to grind. Riding rails is a multi-stage process. The first step is to get up onto the rail. Your actual board position and approach to the rail dictates what trick you will perform. Use an ollie, flick up on the right stick, followed by a shifty, hold left or right on the right stick to engage the rail.
play around by hitting the rail with different parts of your board from different angles to discover all those tricks you're about to master. Once you're on a rail, you need to maintain your body position to avoid slipping off. One way to do this is to press with your board. You do this the same way you do a press on the ground by pressing up or down on the left stick. You need to land with the nose or tail of your board touching the rail in order to press. Try doing a press trick on the rail. growing up so fast. Besides looking super stylish, presses help keep you from falling off rails and will also give you more points in competitions. For a higher score and better style, you can spin onto rails. You do this in the same way you spin onto anything, by charging a spin with one of the triggers. If you're approaching a rail and you spin your board away from the rail, that's called hard way and you'll score higher. But this is obviously more risky because you have to take your eyes off the landing. Try spinning onto a rail to get a feel for it. Fantastic! You can also spin off the rails in the exact same way, by charging a spin while you're grinding. Next up, let's work on how you charge flip torque. Just like with spins, you need to preload your flip torque before jumping. Load your flip torque by holding the right stick in the direction you want to flip relative to your board. Holding up flips over your nose, holding down flips over your tail, holding left flips over your heel edge, and holding right flips over your toe edge you'll also need to charge some pop by holding one or both of the triggers at the same time as holding the right stick. Release them both when you want to initiate your jump. For this lesson, don't worry about landing the trick. Just focus on loading some flips to get a feel for the timing. We put down some extra soft snow to cushion your fall. There you go. It's important to understand that you have to preload your torque before you take off. So loading the proper amount of torque for a feature you're tricking off is super important. Once you're in the air, you can no longer apply torque to your body in the same way. So how do you control your flips? The primary method you can use is to compress your body by pulling in your legs or engaging in a grab by pressing one or both of the triggers. Hit that jump and throw a flip. Compress and extend your body to get a feel for how this changes your rate of rotation. The more compressed your body is, the faster you'll flip. When you're fully extended, that will slow down your flip. Give it a try, and again, don't worry about the landing. We got that extra snow there to cushion your slammage. You're getting the hang of it. You can actually get a lot of control over your rate of rotation by controlling your body position. Different grabs will change your axis of rotation as well. Experiment with them to see what's possible. If you want to get upside down quick, you need to use the triggers or the sticks to perform a flip. Hold both triggers and up or down on the right stick to charge a front flip or a back flip. Release to initiate your flip. You can also flick up or down on the left stick to flip after you've ollied or nollied.
Now that's what I'm talking about. Remember, you can also flip by flicking up or down on the left stick for a quick flip. You can flip backwards or forwards over the edge of your board by holding both triggers and left or right on the right stick to charge a barrel roll. Release both triggers to initiate your flip. Here's a tip. You can combine flips and rolls to do all sorts of off-axis tricks. Try charging torque in only one direction as well to get even more variation. If you combine flip torque and spin torque, you can spin off-axis and perform more advanced tricks. You can combine all three axes in a number of ways. We'll try something straightforward here. By loading some backside spin on the right trigger, combined with the back flip left on the right stick, you can execute a backside rodeo. Release both the trigger and the right stick at the same time when you want to jump to execute this move. Remember to grab or crouch in the air to control your rate of rotation. And that is how it's done. Varying the amount of spin and flip torque you can load can give you a huge variety of different off-axis tricks. Adding in grabs to these tricks can take them to the next level, right where you belong. Quick torque is a fast way to execute common moves and quickly spin or flip without having to preload. When it comes to rails, you can use quick torque to spin onto a rail. Simply ollie using the right stick and then quickly tap left or right on the left stick to give it some quick torque. Use your right stick shifty control to help align your board to the rail. Go ahead, give it a shot. Well, you made that look pretty easy. You can use quick torque off jumps and other features to give you fast access to some spin when you need it. Quick torque lets you execute common tricks without having to preload. To do a quick wildcat, do an ollie using the right stick and then flick down on the left stick.
so good. You can use more or less torque by holding down slightly longer on the left stick after flicking. Quick Torque lets you execute common tricks without having to preload. To do a tame dog, do a nollie using the right stick and then flick up on the left stick. Consider this dog tamed. You can also combine quick torque to do off-axis tricks. After you ollie or nollie, if you flick the left stick along any of the diagonals, you will get a combination of a quick flip and a quick spin torque. Each direction is a different combination and will result in a different trick. Try executing an off-axis quick torque. You are a pro. Play around with different directions to get a feel for what kind of off-axis tricks you can pull off with Quick Tour. Now it's time to put everything you've just learned together. Ride the line and complete three tricks before you reach the finish zone. Let's see what you got. And with that, I think my work here is done. I will see you on the mountains. Let's just all